dang, I was not expecting all of this in a $20 hotel capsule here in Vietnam. This is insane. We got a mirror, control panel. Yeah, just so much going on. It is so cool. Look at the TV. Good evening, guys, and welcome back to Saigon, also known as Ho Chi Minh City here in Vietnam. Now, today, I'm actually checking out of the Sunnet Saigon, this beautiful hotel that I've been staying in the last week that only costs $20 a night. And I must say, I'm truly impressed by this facility. The rooms are extremely clean, the air conditioning works, the shower has water pressure and hot water. Definitely a big bang, bang for its buck. However, today we're gonna go check out something that is extremely popular here in Asia, and that is the capsule hotels. They can be found in many of the surrounding countries, and Vietnam is definitely one of the hubs to find, um, yeah. Capsule hotels everywhere. Let's see if this is our driver. I think this might be our driver. No, it's not. It's definitely not our driver. But right now I'm waiting for a grab bike. He should be arriving here any second. It looks like he's crossing the park now. And then we'll start the journey. It's only about a two kilometer drive from here to our new spot that we're moving to. Now I'm actually not moving there uh, because of the price issues, as I mentioned. This place is super beautiful, super clean. The only problem I do have with the Sunnet, I'm not gonna lie, is that the internet sucks. The internet is shit. It takes about, um, yeah, a whole day to upload a video. But hey, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices because here in Asia, it's hard to get a hotel that has everything for a great price. So yeah, for 20 bucks a night, you can't complain. Right now, my motor taxi should be arriving any minute now. Let's see if this is him. Hello. Thank you so much. Wow, he got here quite fast. Okay, let's get buckled up. Yes, thank you. All right, helmet is on and we are on the moto taxi. Time to start this adventure. One thing I do like about the moto taxis here in Vietnam is that they do have helmets for the customers every time you hop on. Not like Thailand. In Thailand, that was almost impossible to find a help a moto taxi that shows up with an extra helmet. So yeah, one thing that you definitely notice here in Vietnam is that there is so much motorcycle traffic on the streets. There are more motorcycles than cars. And it's quite crazy to be on the back of one here in the city. Oh, he's cutting off everybody. But this is nice, not only for me, but also for you guys, because you get to see a little bit more of the city, especially right now in the evening, because all of the lights come on. It looks a lot different than it does during the day. Now, a lot of people have told me that the streets of Saigon are incredibly dangerous for snatching grabs and things of that nature. So we'll see if we make it to our destination with the GoPro in hand by the time we're done with this video. And I guess if you don't see this video, it's because yeah, the snatch and grab theories are true. Now it actually looks like it wants to rain here today. But we've been quite fortunate. It is rainy season and we've only had rain once since I arrived here. And it was actually on our first day, so hopefully it stays away today. Very, very uh, busy today, huh? No answer. So I'm guessing this is just me and you guys. <laughs> it's quite crazy how everybody just hits the sidewalks as well, huh? Now here in Vietnam, there's actually no sidewalk space because people park their motorcycles on them so 
90% of the time when you're walking around the cities, well, this city specifically, you actually have to walk on the main street. What is this lady selling? Some little sculptures. Wow, cute. Now, have any of you guys ever visited Vietnam before? Let me know down in the comment section and let me know when was the last time you guys visited because a lot of people have been telling me on TikTok and on Instagram that the city has definitely changed a lot and that the country as a whole has changed a lot since the pandemic. But obviously I wouldn't be able to see those changes because yeah, this is my first time. So everything that I'm seeing here is completely new to me. I got scammed by a taxi on my very first day here. I arrived in Vietnam from Cambodia. I think I mentioned this in my first video in the country. And the taxi driver just started like yelling at us and dropped us off in the middle of uh, yeah, the drive and charged us a hundred dollars for about five minutes of being in his car. Completely scammed us, ripped us off, and yeah, it wasn't a pleasant experience. I've been using Grab the entire time since that incident. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. We're in good hands though. Would you guys hop on the back of this bike or am I just crazy? Let me know down in the comment section. <laughs> because I feel like when you guys are watching these videos from your computer screen or phone, it looks a lot more chill and not as hectic, but yeah, it's definitely nerve wracking. I'll tell you that. Now there's a lot of cute little hotels. Look at this one, the Cecilia Hotel. There's a lot of cute hotels in the city. A lot of them here in District 1 have a nice brothel look to them, so they look pretty sketchy. But yeah, there's plenty of options um, for choosing places to stay here in Saigon. Wow, look at this street. Amazing, right? Almost gives me a nice uh, Japan vibe. Oh man. Now Japan is actually coming up on my list very soon. I might have to go home and then come back to Japan. The country is uh, slowly starting to reopen again. And I definitely want to be one of the first to visit. Oh, KFC. Now something interesting here in Vietnam is that at the um, street lights, they actually have smaller street lights. I don't know if you can tell right there for the motorists, for the motorcycles. Now I rented scooters a lot in Thailand, but this is definitely one of those places I would not rent one in. I would not ride a motorbike or a scooter here in this city, no way. No way in hell. Now up here on the corner, you're gonna notice a little restaurant called Loteria. Now that is actually like the McDonald's of Asia. I believe it is a Korean franchise. And it's honestly not that great. I wouldn't recommend it. There is McDonald's here if you're into the Western food. And I believe there's also yeah, Pizza Hut, Domino's, KFC. I wanted to say that there's also Burger King because I've seen it a lot in Asia, but now that I come to think about it, I don't think there's that many. Look, another KFC. That's the second one we've seen here on this motorcycle journey so far. Oh, nice pajamas.
yeah, people love to use their horn here. I don't know what it is. Wow, this place is in the hood, it looks like. This might be a $20 capsule hotel in the hood video. Definitely looks a lot more, um, yeah, a lot more hoodish than where we came from. Oh man. This should be very, very interesting. All right, we're arriving now. Yeah, it's right here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ooh. 20,000. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, the helmet. I'm about to leave with the helmet. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, so that ride cost me 20000 roughly one US dollar. Not bad for a moto taxi adventure through the city. And this is the name of the hotel. It's called The Arrivals. So it's actually a hotel from what I read online, but they also have a floor of just capsules. So I'm going to check in real quick and then I'll, I'll clock back in with you guys. So we're all checked in now and they actually have a pool and rooftop bar as well that's included with the price of the capsule. How cool is that now? First impressions, it is extremely hot in this building. I hope there's air conditioning because there's no way I'm gonna be able to sleep inside of a capsule without air conditioning. Wow. Yo, this looks like hella futuristic, huh? Look at the hallway. It looks like I just entered like a Star Trek scene. Wow, and these are the lockers too. So I'm guessing we're number two. Let's peep the lockers. Okay, so that just opened up quite nice. Wow, and we get some flip flops and a headset. How cool is that? All right, let's go ahead and close that back up. I'm truly impressed. Now, um, there's actually a bunch of different dormitories. Peep this, these actually look like safe vaults. No, this is hella cool. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting it to be this cool. Wow, these are the bathrooms. So this here is the woman bathroom. And this one here is the men's. Let's actually check the bathroom out before we make it on into the room. Oh, that's sick. Yo, I've never been so happy to see a bathroom in my life. Look at this place. It's so cool, huh? Toilets, butt pistols, blow dryers. No, this is nice. Some soap, the mirrors are hella cool. Look at the ceiling, guys. No, first impressions, I guess have changed. Now it is a little bit more cooler here in this area than the lobby was. Let's check out the room now. No, this is super cool. I wonder what's over here in this area. Oh, a patio. So like a smoking area. You can come out here, yeah, smoke your joints, your cigarettes, whatever you might need. And voila, access denied or access. Oh, this is cool. Okay. How do you turn on the light? Oh, whoa. Okay, so there's actually a blue light. And a regular one. Okay, maybe we'll turn on the blue one. Let me see how it looks. Oh yeah, that's definitely the vibe. Okay, so ours is number two, which is this one right here. Now there's actually, what, 10 bunks inside of this room. So there's 10 bunks and they actually have a twin bed option and a queen bed option. So if you wanna come here and stay as a couple, I don't know why you would wanna sleep with two people inside of a capsule, but if you do, they have that as an option. Now, Let's open this bad boy up so it's closed. I think I locked it. Now it does say no smoking, quiet please, and do not disturb. I'm definitely not quiet right now. And this is our capsule. 
Okay, it looks a lot bigger, a lot roomier than it does from the outside. Let's see if we can figure out how to work this bad boy. Now they do have a diagram downstairs that says you put the card inside and whoa, peep that guys. It just lit up like a space shuttle in here. Now, it also feels like an oven in here. Oh man, a television too? All right, I was not expecting to find a TV in here. Now everywhere I've been in Asia, they always have a TV, but it never works. So I'm glad this one turns on. And look, looks like they got some sort of news channel on. Now let's see if we can get rid of this blue light because I, oh, I turned it off because I honestly don't like it. I'm not a fan of the blue light. Okay, that's much better. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. The blue light is kind of a little too much, but yeah, let's explore this little control panel. Now the vents are actually not working. Let's see if I can turn it on a little bit more, a little higher. Okay, there it goes. It's starting to come out, but yeah, guys, look. It is 31 degrees inside of this capsule. It is brutal. Oh man, look, there's even some switches up here. Oh, that's cool. Now you can dim the reading lights, turn it on. Wow. No, seriously, I'm truly impressed. This is pretty damn cool. Now, along with the, yeah, the mirror lights, the ceiling lights, you also have a sleep mode. What is that? I guess that turns off everything. Oh, okay. So it's pretty easy to get a hold of. Like, I mean, we didn't, let's turn these ones back on. We didn't need no instructions and it's pretty simple to use. Now, you also have two USB ports and headphone jack. What else is going on here? An outlet for like your um, device's laptop. Pretty damn cool and it's universal. Fire extinguisher, a little hanger, another hanger. Wow, they even give you a toothbrush with toothpaste. And a water bottle, which we should probably open right now because, damn, it is hot. You know what? I'm going to use one of these towels. So, they also give you a towel. A be or, yeah, what is that? A washcloth. A big full-size towel. A pillow. And a blanket. Oh, and there's even a safe in here. Not sure how you use this, but I'm sure there's some instructions for it down below. But how cool is this? For 20 US dollars, a capsule with a safe, the AC starting to come on, which wow, you definitely need. It is an oven in here. It is literally 31.9 degrees Celsius, which is something like 90 degrees. And yeah, pretty simple. Let me give you guys one more little lap smoke detector up here the television i'm not really sure how to change the channels is there a remote yeah not sure how you change the channels of the tv so i guess you only get one channel which is not bad this button is only for emergencies okay we won't hit that but yeah guys that's the capsule i mean 20 dollar capsule hotel in vietnam as far as the room goes i mean the room is pretty clean pretty nice nothing too special going on in here there is a camera up there which i don't like but um yeah what else do you really expect right i mean it's 20 dollars. i feel like the motorcycle adventure here was a lot funner than the capsule itself but it is definitely a cool experience and as i mentioned they have queen size beds as well inside of these capsules so you can come in here and stay as a couple have a nice honeymoon in a capsule i love the steps that get you up to the second bunk overall i think it's going to be one of those things that is definitely done just for the experience it's nice but we're in asia so you can stay in a hotel for 20 bucks a night um yeah either way i'm gonna get freshened up now guys shower go eat some dinner and then i'll relax for the night and yeah, sleep in my little Star Trek shuttle. And for now, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tomorrow I'm heading off to India, so that is the reason why I actually chose to stay in the capsule for my last night. And yeah, I'll give you guys one more little peep. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. Let me know down in the comment section if this was boring or if you guys actually enjoyed this video. I'm definitely glad I started filming from the motorcycle because I don't know what the hell I could have possibly talked about. 
here inside this room. Anyways, guys, I'll see you soon for another adventure from from India, man. I can't believe I'm heading there. Later, guys. You were always smarter. I was the one to